And guys, it is Tuesday. And we have like two or three hundred dollars to last us until next Friday. Like, there's actually no such thing as rent inflation, food inflation, or energy inflation. I'll tell you why. Then we're going to watch a sad video clip of how a young mother and her family are being ravaged by inflation. Also, settle in, because by the end of this video, I'm gonna provide you with a solution on how you can flip this whole thing around and in fact, profit from inflation. I'm Keith Weinhold. Let's listen in to just one minute of desperation from this crying, sniffling RN and mother in Pennsylvania on TikTok named Mackenzie Moan. She and her family are clearly struggling with inflation and the cost of living. I feel like my husband and I are doing everything right. We both have good jobs. I'm a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I work full time. He works full time. We just got paid this past Friday, right? We paid the mortgage, <laughs> bought some groceries, put some gas in the car. <laughs> we don't live in a big house. We, we live in a little, just a little ranch. It's 1,100 square feet, three bedrooms, one bath, us and our two kids. <laughs> and like, I don't I don't know what to do. Like I'm in school full time. I work full time. He works more than full time. He works overtime every week. I don't know what to do. Yeah, gosh, she makes it sound hopeless for she and her family of four, like they don't know of a way out. And this is what happens because wages often don't keep up with inflation. And you've got to wonder how many other people have a story like this, but they sure don't publicize it across social media like this woman has. Lots of people are in this situation, but a lot of times they fake it and they flaunt it with status symbols, really. Inflation is making it such that some older people, they're even having to unretire, returning to work to deal with the cost of living after they thought that they had retired. And by the way, what's an unretirement party look like? I don't know. Give the gold watch back? <laughs> look, here's what's really happening. In the 1950s, a family could own a home, a car, and send the kids to college all on just one income. But by the 1990s, it took two working parents in order to do that. And today, two parents are less likely to be able to make it as these wages don't keep up with inflation. I mean, right now, if there's a $500 emergency expense, 63% of Americans say that they cannot pay that. Now, your grandparents, they might remember a quaint childhood when gumballs cost a penny before inflation ransacked it, and a hot Fed printing press printing more dollars that eliminated your parents' quintessential $5 foot long sub. You should really understand something here. There's really no such thing as rent inflation, food inflation, or energy inflation, even though those are terms that we might use. See, inflation, that means an expansion of the money supply. So rent and food and energy, inflation, then they're merely just consequences of inflation. I mean, rent and food and energy, they're not the source of inflation, they're the result. Businesses don't create inflation, farmers don't create inflation, and landlords don't create inflation. All of those prices go up because of inflation. When the currency loses value, prices go up, and you're kinda letting the Fed off the hook when you say food inflation or rent inflation or energy inflation. Let me show you something with inflation in real estate, and you've never seen this before. We're gonna look at four groups of people and see how much they benefit or they lose from inflation we're gonna go from the worst off group to the best off group. And okay, this is gonna be interesting. You're gonna be able to see which group 
you belong to. All right, the first group, they are the poor and the lower middle class. They don't own any property and their grocery and energy expenses are exacerbated by inflation but see, yet they have no assets to benefit from that price increase. If they have a job, their wage lags inflation. So, I mean, devastated by this condition, those on the lower rungs, I mean, homelessness in America is up an astounding 24% just this year alone. And analysts believe that it's gonna get worse next year. So the poor lose to inflation and increasingly the middle class are getting caught up in this as this canyon between the haves and the have nots widens. The second group is the homeowner with the paid off mortgage, all right? They are better off. And by the way, two in every five homeowners have a paid off mortgage. All right, well, if there's 10% inflation over, say, a couple years, well, their 500K home, all right, that price and value then floats up to 550K. Understand that they don't profit from inflation. They're merely hedged against it. But then this third group, all right, they are homeowners with a mortgage. And yep, they're actually better off than the group two there that didn't have a mortgage only in terms of who benefits from inflation. And like the second group, this third group, all right, 10% inflation, it still makes their 500K home rise to 550K, but they have another benefit over here. Their 400K mortgage gets watered down to just 360K of inflation adjusted debt. And that's because inflation makes salaries go higher, wages go higher, rents go higher, prices go higher. They all float up higher, making that debt easier to pay back over time. Banks and lenders don't ask you to repay them with inflation adjusted debt. They accept diluted future dollars. This is called debt debasement. And then this fourth and final group, they are the best off. They own income property with a mortgage. When you own income property with a mortgage, you can have both asset inflation like the second group and the debt debasement benefit like the third group. And then additionally, on top of those two things, your rent income will outpace inflation, the net income that you have left over. All right, just take a look at this. Say you begin with $2,000 of rent income, minus a $1,200 mortgage, minus $600 in expenses. That's $200 of monthly positive cash flow. Then you add 10% inflation, and now it's $2,200 of rent income, minus $1,200 of mortgage, minus $660 of your other operating expenses. Well, now that's $340 of cash flow. Do you understand the significance of this? All right, because your mortgage principal and interest payment stays fixed, and that's your biggest expense, with just 10% inflation, you just saw the money in your pocket each month skyrocket from $200 to $340. That is 70% more income extrapolate that effect across your entire rental portfolio as you add properties. That benefit is called cash flow enhancement. And ah, see, that's how two parents can get more than two incomes. Get 10 properties, add 10 incomes to your life. Owning income property with a loan is an option available to the middle class, everyday people, like making a 20% down payment on a 200K rental property. And this right here is exactly how you go from middle class to upper middle class or wealthy, depending on how far you take it, rather than being dragged down by inflation, eating away at your quality of life. So let's summarize that. With inflation in real estate, the poor lose the paid off homeowners hedge, mortgaged homeowners both hedge and profit, and mortgaged income property owners hedge, profit, and increase their income. And if you want free coaching and help in finding a rental property conducive to profiting from inflation, we offer that help here at GREMarketplace.com. Our GRE investment coaches learn your goals and help you. And you know something? This is 
kind of weird. <laughs> Once you've got income property, you might notice all these little things around the economy like a jar of Vlasic pickles rise in price from $529 to $599 or that Chevy Silverado truck prices spike from 50K to 55K, these could actually be strangely positive signs. It's a soft indicator that your real estate wealth is growing through inflation. Yeah, though people would think you're nuts, you might secretly start rooting for inflation as avidly as an NFL tailgater. I don't know about that though. I'm not really sure if you're actually going to pump your fist the first time you pay $9 for a gallon of gas. We'll see about that. But you are winning the inflation triple crown when you own income producing property with a loan because you win with inflation three ways at the same time. And Forbes actually published my article about this concept, how real estate investors win the inflation triple crown. The lesson is don't lose to inflation like most people do. In fact, do more than defensively hedge yourself against inflation go on offense and profit from inflation. If you want what most people don't have, you'll do what most people don't do. If you want to absorb more about using inflation to build an affluent life over time, I encourage you to do that right now while it's top of mind and check out this video as I describe more to you, including mistakes to avoid on you winning the inflation triple crown. I'm Keith Weinhold. I'll see you in the next video. You can watch this one next.